So hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then a huge welcome. And if you are returning, then thank you so, so much. So I still feel like a news presenter in this like location, you know? I feel like I'm very like, hello guys. Um, but we're back with a brand new video and it's a bit of a kind of random video to be honest. I went shopping yesterday and had quite a few people reply to my story saying that you wanted a haul. Um, now I didn't buy loads of things so it's probably going to be quite a short video but you guys might enjoy that because I know you're used to like 20-30 minute videos so um, yeah you might actually enjoy having a bit of a shorter one to watch. So I actually went to Leeds yesterday to visit one of my friends because she's just bought a new house um, and then we just went shopping and she's a bad influence that's all I'm going to say. I'm actually also going to show you guys, she's on her way here at the moment because um, I bought her like a little housewarming gift that arrived today. Um, I'm going to show you what I got her as well because I think it's a really good idea for like a housewarming gift if like you have a friend like mine so I went to quite a few shops but didn't pick up loads so I'm going to show you guys what I got and um, as always if you do enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already because we're nearly at a thousand we're nearly at a thousand like no one will even understand unless you like do YouTube like a thousand is such a milestone um, but yeah, also, go board, put it up yesterday, no, two days ago, I was on a call with my team, and it fell off the wall, like, I was literally on camera to my team, and down it went, and it smashed off here, so a little bit has chipped on the wood on the side, but I'm gonna have to put it back up properly, with nails, not command strips, so, yeah, if you are wanting to put pictures up with the command velcro things, the, I mean, the whole frame was covered in them, and it still fell down in less than 24 hours anyway so first up i'm going to show you what i got from donnell so i only got two things which was these marble storage jars now they are actually real marble so they are very heavy and you do kind of have to shop around to find like the marble that you like if you know what i mean because they're all a little bit different so i've got two of these now these were meant to be 12 pounds each and I actually got them for 50% off. So these were only £12 for two. So I'm thinking one for maybe tea. I'm a little bit funny about like decanting coffee into like other jars. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just better when it's in its tin. But I could be wrong. Um, so I'm thinking one for maybe like tea bags. I don't have sugar, I just have sweetener. So it's pointless for that. But I'm also thinking maybe on my bath board in my bathroom, maybe like decanting bath salts into one of them and having it in the bath board but we'll see uh, but I just thought for six pound each that was just an absolute steal so next up was Zara home now I've got a bit of a story to tell you about the cushions which I will but first up we can do a little unboxing together so they wrap it in this like kind of looks like a honeycomb kind of I don't really know it's like I don't really know but I love it da -da -da. Here we go. So I got this really cute like jar from Zara Home and it's this like white kind of ceramic but with like a gloss finish and then it's like raw kind of bare stone at the top. Now this was in the sale for £19.99 although when I did get the till it was only meant to be £25.99. But still, it's in the sale, um, like everything else. And I'm not really sure where to put this, but I do think it'll just look really nice as an extra ornament. Maybe put some like pampas grass in it, or I think I'm kind of going away from pampas grass a little bit. And I'm seeing a lot of really nice, just dried flower arrangements that look really, really nice. So we'll see, or it might just be like a random kind of floating ornament like this that was downstairs that then came up here. And then I've just put it in here for a backdrop. Um, but yeah, that was the first thing that I got from Zara Home. Next up were these cushions. So I don't know if you can see the slight kind of detailing in them. You might be able to. Um, so these were reduced to £15.99, so I got two. Um, and when I got to the till, this is just an interesting story to be honest. Well, it's not really a story. But they actually charge you for the cushion fill-in, which, completely honest, do not mind paying it. But it's not clear when you shop it in store. If I pick this cushion up with a price tag on it, I think what I'm picking up is that price. Whereas when you get the till, they then tell you that the cushion fill-in is sold separately, which, like I said, isn't an issue. 
But I do just think it's a little bit kind of, it catches you out because you're obviously not going to say no whilst you're paying for an item that you really want and you're not going to make them faff around and take the cushion filling out. But at the same time, like, it's not very clearly displayed, which I don't think is very fair, but it was 5 dollars for the cushion filling, so I'm not, like, complaining. But it's just, it's just a heads up that if you are shopping in Zara Home that it is sold separately, even though you pick the item up like this. So, obviously, I got two. So, like, I literally just picked them up like this with the tag on that says 15 99 um, but then obviously we then charged £6 per cushion filling as well. Um, I've got no idea where I'm going to put these. I'm either going to try it on my bed, uh, but I do have like a white waffle, big like decorative cushion. So I don't know if they'll go on my sofa. Um, because they're the only two soft furnished items in my whole house. So we'll see where they go. But I'm sure that I'll keep you guys updated on the home account, which I'll pop on the screen uh, but that's my kind of home insta where I share things like this so yeah got them then I went to Harvey Nicks now this is not what you guys will think it's gonna be it's not a designer purchase for me it's not a designer purchase it's not even something that I think you'd expect to buy in Harvey Nicks but I did and honestly if you think this is bad wait till you see it well you're not gonna see but you should see what my friend bought right this big bag just for this so what is that <laughs> so the only item that i got from harvey nicks was a gold bottle of ciroc so the reason was i just think it's really decorative like it's the white grape ciroc if you can see um and i just really like the color and i just think Ciroc is hands down one of the best vodkas anyway. Never tried the white grape one. Loved the bottle and thought it would look good in the house. So <laughs> that's what I got from Harvey Nicks. Um, and it was 20% off as well. So I think it was meant to be like 40, how much was it meant to be? It was 35 pound with 20% off. So three pound 57 pound plus, was it meant to be 42? I'm not very good at maths, but anyway, yeah, that was the item that I got from Harvey Nicks. So many people were messaging me being like, oh my God, what did you buy? And I was thinking, I don't know if it's gonna be an anti-climax for most people, but I don't think it is, because I think this on like a serving tray, I just, I really like it. So it's gonna find a home in my house. And it's a nice vodka. So even once the vodka is finished, it's still gonna look nice. And I think it's a screw cap, so, you're never even going to know it's open. Finally, I got some items from Chanel. Now, again, so many people were like, what did you get? And if you know, I think you want to get these bags if it is makeup. So if it was like a proper Chanel item, it would be in like the big black bags with like the white flower on them. So that's always how you can tell like what people are buying if they don't tell you. Um, not that we really care. But um, I just got my Holy Grail which is the Chanel Vita Lumiere foundation. Now, anybody that watched my get ready with me about a month ago, maybe, um, I started trying the Ordinary and I'm over it. I'm sorry, but I am. I don't really like the finish. Whereas the Chanel finish, I just feel like it's a lot more dewy and it's just me. So I get this in shade 40 beige in case anybody is like a similar skin tone to me. Um, and yeah, I've literally had this since I was about 15 years old. Um, tried the Ordinary because everybody recommended it. It was obviously only £4. But unfortunately, I don't think anything's ever going to be this foundation. Also, I just caught the camera at 11.11. <laughs> um, and then the next thing that I got was the Universal Bronzer. Now, anybody that knows Chanel, I think this is probably like one of the items that was the most kind of like everyone raved about because i don't think i don't really think chanel makeup's like that popular um to be honest but this item definitely is and i'm just going to show you it and unbox it so it's the universal bronzer this is an airport buy like if anyone knows what i'm talking about you usually buy this in an airport when you're going on holiday you don't want to have loads of makeup on you buy the chanel bronzer so again chanel packaging is just amazing please ignore this nail I've been trying to pull them up, but I've not been doing a very good job. But look at that. How satisfying is that? 
Um, so yeah, they were the two items that I got from Chanel and they always throw in freebies and I would really recommend if you're going to get a freebie, get the mascara. Um, I really love it. It's really good for like full lashes. So that was Chanel and then I'm finally just going to show you before she turns up what I got my friend for her housewarming. So I got her this Snoop Dogg cookbook. I was so worried that it was going to be just um, like weed recipes, but it's not at all because obviously it's Snoop Dogg. Um, but it says from crook to cook, platinum recipes from the Boss Dog's Kitchen. But the recipes in it are actually really good. So I'm going to show you the cover. Her house is like all gold as well, just as an FYI. Um, but it's just got like Caribbean recipes. Like, just, I don't really know. And then I think there is... There is like a munchie section. It's like a really like good kind of, <laughs> I think it looks quite cool as well. Uh, but yeah, I think she's gonna love this. We will see. I've just looked at what he has in his kitchen and he's got maple syrup, lemon pepper, seasoning salt, hot sauce, honey, ketchup, instant macaroni cheese, pop darts. And then in his pantry, he's got, oh wait, that is his pantry. Oh, in his fridge, He's got moe, orange juice, cheddar, butter, barbecue sauce. It's great. But anyway, that was the gift that I got her. I think this was £21 on Amazon, which is a little bit annoying because I have just checked on the back and it was meant to be £17.99. I'm not really going to moan about a couple of pounds. I just got the cookbook stand to match and I just think it makes quite a good little gift um and i think she's really gonna like this so we will see all of the house as i've said is like gold um so i think it's gonna go really nicely um but yeah that was literally everything that i bought so it's a little bit random to be honest we've got marble jazz rock gift from my friend um makeup um a random jug jar whatever cushions a little bit of a mismatch haul to be honest but hopefully you do enjoy if you do please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave it will honestly mean the world to me we are so close to a thousand and i'm gonna have some exciting news coming for you guys in the next kind of couple of months as well so just know that every subscriber really really does count uh, but yeah that is everything from me um, hope you guys enjoyed watching and have a lovely rest of the day